guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full face of first impressions. Well, kind of a full face because I didn't have any new base products and I didn't have any new brow products, but those weren't that exciting anyway. All of the colored cosmetics that I used today were first impressions, fresh out the box, brandy new, literally just arrived on my doorstep either today or yesterday. So very excited to dive in there and try them all with you. We have the Morphe 39A palette, the Urban Decay Distortion palette, the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealers to try, a brand new holiday stuff from Nabla Cosmetics, and a new highlighter from e.l.f. So uh, if you're looking for an affordable highlighter, wink wink. We went through a lot of products in this video and I feel like it's going to be really long. So I'm going to shut my mouth and we're going to jump right the fuck in before you guys get bored of me. All right then. Okay, first on today's first impression agenda, we have the Morphe 39A palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, we have an insert with the names of the colors over it. I usually personally prefer when the names are written on the package, but um, I just appreciate the names being on there displayed in one way or another, either way. I'm gonna start by using this color Bear, which is a neutral as a transition on a Sigma E40 blending brush. And to start this off, as I start all of my first impressions, um, I prep my eyes the way I always prep my eyes. And I try to always prep my eyes the same way when I'm testing new shadows, because if you don't, it's kind of not fair to the shadows. So what I usually do is I mix a little bit of the Urban Decay Eden Primer with some Tarte Shape Tape, and I set it with my setting powder. And that's pretty much the way I prep my eyes all the time, regardless of what I'm going to be using. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of a darker neutral. This is called Sculpt. On a slightly smaller brush, this is a Morphe M433. And I'm going to use that just to define the crease a little bit. That's a really, really nice brown. Why am I holding this like a painter, like I'm Bob Ross? I'm still holding it like that. I don't know why. <laughs> because this color is just calling my name. As soon as I opened this palette, I was like, yep, I'm using that one. I'm going to use this deep cranberry pink color called Create. And on a Morphe E18 pencil brush, I'm gonna pack that into the inner corner. And I know right now you're probably like, wow, you're nuts. A little, yes. I've actually done this technique on my channel before and I really like the way it comes out. Uh, I'm going to do a very bright pop of color on the inner corner, a mostly nude lid, and then wing it out and then smoke out the bottom of the wing accordingly. Um, I just find that it's a more fun, interesting way to use color sometimes, so we're going to go for it. I'm going to pack that color onto my inner corner area first, just blending it out slightly as I go. Right off the bat, something I'm noticing is that it is not like incredibly pigmented to the point where it's like getting all over the place, but it's pigmented enough that it's making like a big impact, but it's very, very blendable. Like it's kind of blending itself without me doing very much because obviously this is a packing brush and it's just kind of, uh, it's already sort of dispersing around the edges. Next, I'm gonna jump into another new product. This is the Urban Decay Distortion Eyeshadow Palette. The whole concept of this palette is that these bottom two rows are regular shadows and the top row here is shadow transformers. So anything that you put these shadows over, it should transform them into like a different, more like multi-dimensional shadowy color. And I don't know why I said shadowy, obviously, <laughs> just a multi-dimensional, like different kind of a color and texture. I'm gonna pack one of these colors over a little bit of the inner corner of that pink, just to highlight the inner corner a bit. And I'm packing that on with a Sigma E30 pencil brush. Since I'm leaving the rest of the top of the lid pretty plain, I'm just gonna jump off camera for a second and do a quick black winged eyeliner. I'm not gonna be using a new product for the wing. I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper so we can skip over that for today since this is the first impressions video. And you guys have seen me do my eyeliner 3,000 times. All right, popped on a wing. 
It's not my greatest wing of all time, but it'll look better once we put lashes on because it always does. For the concealer, I'm going to be trying for the first time the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer that just came out. I believe I am the shade Light Neutral. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. Um, we might have to switch to a lighter shade, but I, I think this might be right. And what I'm going to do is put this on and do a first impression right now, and then I'm going to try it again tomorrow and do a wear test from the morning uh, until the entire evening, because I'm starting this kind of in the afternoon today. So tomorrow I'm going to film myself using it again in the morning and then wear it all day long, like while I go babysit my niece and like do a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'll have a really good picture of it. But for now, let's just do a first impression. Okay, that is the right color for my skin, but I don't think it's light enough to highlight underneath my eyes. So, hold on one sec. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the shade Fair Neutral to lighten that up, get us to about the shade we need. I hope this doesn't dry onto my face before I get a chance to blend it. How are you, Nicole? That looks pretty nice. The coverage is like, it's like covered. Um, I would say on a scale of one to shape tape, this is a nine and a half at least, but it's a lot lighter than shape tape, like a lot lighter feeling on my skin. It feels, it's so, it's very, very light. It's super duper light feeling. Obviously the wear test will be very important in this, uh, but as of right now, I really like the way that applied. I like the way it looks and I like the way it feels on my skin and I really like the way it's looking on camera. Like I feel like my under eyes look very porcelain and flawless uh, from here and we'll see when I watch the film back because it's always a little bit different. But um, yeah, first, very first like initial first impression is I'm just going to set that really lightly with my Kat Von D setting powder. Although it seems like it kind of set itself. It doesn't really seem like it necessarily needed the powder, but just in case when you're a creasy old bitch like me, you gotta, you gotta always double check. It's going to take a little bit more of that same pink color on that same brush. I'm not even dipping back into the palette. More pigmented than I even really initially realized because I really only dipped in twice and I did all of this pink with that. So that's pretty impressive. And I'm just going to draw that underneath just to blend it back in where I took some of it off. For underneath the eyes, I'm going to go back into that 39A palette. I'm going to use the color Bare again, which was the transition color that we used initially. And I'm going to just drag that underneath the eye and up underneath the wing. Now I'm going to use a more dense pencil brush. This is a Makeup Geek pencil brush. And I'm going to use this deeper plum color, which is called Passion. I'm getting a little bit more fallout with this than I did with the shade Create, but I am also using it on a more densely packed brush. And when you use a more densely packed brush, it often it kicks off more fallout. Next, I'm going to use this deep brownish eggplant purpley shade Forever on a push liner brush. This one is from NARS. I'm just going to push that along the lower lash line to almost line it, but not quite. The eyes are pretty much done here. I need to put some lashes and mascara on. And I also need to brighten the waterline. None of those are going to be first impressions though, so I'm going to do them off camera. I'm just gonna use a nude color in the waterline and the Cake Face Kim Tie Lashes on my lids. I'm a total dope because I just realized that I wanted to use the new Nabla Dazzle Liners in this tutorial too. And now that I have done this, I don't think that I can do that properly. <laughs> But keep an eye out because I will be probably testing these during the week and I will post about them on Instagram for sure. This is an eyeliner, you guys. Look at this. That was so bomb and I can't wait to try it and I'm really mad at myself that I didn't. <sighs> I have a lot of stuff here in front of me and a lot of first impressions to go through and I'm just losing track. I'm just losing track. Next up, I'm going to use the new e.l.f. Highlighting Holographic Duo in the Siren's Call shade. 
This is kind of the most normal shade of the bunch. The other ones are more like a, like a pink and a blue and stuff. And I'm just uh, not excited about those colors with what I want to do with this look. So I'm going to use this one. That's how it looks on the inside. Wow, that actually looks different than I expected it to be. I thought that this was going to be much more neutral, but it's kind of a peach. I'm going to use the lighter shade of the two, which kind of is like a gold, but it looks like it has a little bit of a greenish tint to it. We're gonna see when we put it on the skin, I suppose. It kind of just comes off like a champagne gold. Pretty though. For the lips, I'm going to use a new Noblock Cosmetics lipstick. This is the Dreamy Metallic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Silk Road. It's like a metallic cranberry red. And normally I wouldn't really pair that with this like pinky eye, but I'm like feeling some Thanksgiving vibes and I think maybe that we should try to emulate the idea of cranberry sauce. Why not? This is actually one of the nicest metallic matte liquid lipsticks that actually dries down and is like a long wearing matte liquid lipstick that I've ever tried, to be honest. Um, as far as application, I don't know how their metallic formula wears yet because I've never worn one of their metallics for a whole day before. I only have one other metallic color and it's like super bright gold. Um, but so far, this is beautiful. Like it kind of has a satin finish. It's not overly metallic, so it doesn't emphasize the lines on my lips that badly. Sometimes when I wear metallic liquid lipsticks, it's like, do you know what I mean? But this, I feel like it looks very like, I don't know. It looks like fabric almost more than it does look like lipstick. I'm very much enjoying that. I like that a lot. I am too annoyed with myself that I didn't use the Dazzle Liner. So I pulled off my lashes and I'm going to try the shade Cool Jewel over my black liner. Um, I understand that that's not completely a full first impression. That's not the ideal way to do a first impression, but it's what I'm gonna do because, because it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> that is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, no regrets, not even one. All right, I'm gonna pop my lashes back off and then we are going to have a little chat about all of these products and what I think. So the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. First of all, the packaging on this is so much better than the packaging that they used to use. Um, I much prefer this pressed hard cardboard to the plastic that they were using. I just feel like the plastic feels more cheap. This feels more like a high-end makeup product. The print on it is very chic. Everything looks really great. And I really, really, really like the variety that's in here. Um, I didn't use a ton of the colors, obviously, but the ones I did use were extremely pigmented, but not overly pigmented. Um, there was a little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. And I think the variety of shades in here is like absolute perfection, especially if you like to get a little bit more creative. And I like that it's laid out kind of in not quite a rainbow pattern, but almost. So like the colors that are similar are grouped together. For me personally, that sort of a setup helps me like wrap my head around the colors that are in there and like what I want to do with them. For other people that might be different, but for me when it's organized, that helps me. If you're new here, what I like to do when I do a first impressions video is if it's something big like a palette that like really needs multiple uses to form a first impression on it then I like to do the first impression and then I'll use it a few times and then I'll do another tutorial later with it where I explain like my final thoughts and give like a full review of it I just think that's a little bit more thorough is how I've been doing it lately I kind of really like that system because I feel like first impressions can be a little bit deceiving sometimes so first impression is so far I'm very impressed with this and I'm going to keep using it the rest of the week and I will let you guys know on uh, next weekend in another tutorial my final thoughts next item is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer so far I am extremely impressed with this. It is so light, but so high coverage at the same time. And it has increased at all underneath my eyes. And I have been having issues lately with my under eye concealer creasing. Um, my creases under my eyes have gotten a little bit deeper all of a sudden, and it's just 
oh my god like the effort that it takes to try to get my under eyes to stay without creasing is just phenomenal so um, I'm very excited that this has increased yet I am going to do a 12 hour wear test with this tomorrow um, so that should be up a couple of days after this if all goes as planned either Sunday or Monday this week so keep your eyes out for that the elf holographic highlight duo in sirens call um, it's not really holographic or even like color shifty at all uh, this is kind of like a gold with a hint of like a green undertone to it and this one is just kind of a coral with a little bit of gold in it they're very pretty they look very nice on the skin it's not a very um intense highlight but that's for me that's actually okay I like that sometimes I don't always want to be like beaming out to the sun it's not really every day for me you know um so this is something I'll definitely get use out of again elf is on the affordable side but they have been getting more and more expensive so um as their prices increase my harshness on reviews of them will increase but so far this is like not amazing or exciting or like i need to go tell the people of the world how awesome this highlighter is so but if you're looking for a more subtle highlight that's not super expensive um and is available at drugstores and stuff like that these are definitely nice they're just nothing like oh my god incredible the Knobloch Cosmetics Dreamy Metallic Matte in the color Silk Road. Stunning. Stunning. So pretty. Um, I do have to say that I can feel it on my lips. Uh, not to a degree where it's bothering me and it's not crumbling, but it's definitely on there. Um, their matte formula without the metallic sheen, um, when I put it on, I can wear it for literally the entire day and really never even know it's there. Even like dark shades like black and stuff. So I was expecting to feel nothing on my lips with this. I definitely do feel it there, but it's not gritty and it looks gorgeous. Finish of it is absolutely gorgeous though the color is beautiful uh this is like the perfect holiday shade so if you're looking for maybe something to wear to a christmas party or something highly highly recommend looking at this um as far as the way it applied and the way it looks on the lips it's one of my favorite metallic formulas that i've ever played around with um i can't really vouch for the wear time because i've only used their matte shades before but uh usually their lip colors are like super long wearing so i have high hopes and last but not least, the Nabla Dazzle Liner in the color Cruel Jewel. I am so glad that I went back and reapplied this over my other liner because the color is absolutely amazing, gorgeous, stunning, unbelievable. Like it looks like red satin, but as eyeliner. I'm so impressed with it. I'm so glad that I went back and put it on. Again, I obviously can't speak to the wear time of this. They do not say on them that they're waterproof, but they say that they're long wearing. And when I tested it on the back of my hand, I was able to rub over it with some water and it didn't run off, but eventually it did crumble. So I would imagine that they're probably water resistant, but not waterproof, if that makes sense. So if your eyes water a little bit throughout the day, I don't think this is going to run, but eventually it will break down. Oh, I almost forgot one. The Urban Decay Distortion Palette. Um, I don't really think that I gave this enough of a try to really form an opinion on it yet. But if you like Urban Decay Shadow Formula, you will probably like the normal shadows that are in here. And the top ones are really fun if you like to layer things over another shadow. I'm going to play with this more throughout the week and form an opinion on it. But the color space that I used over that pink shadow at my inner corner, it performed just as you would expect it to for a shadow that's supposed to go on as a transformer. Um, I like it, but I'm not ready to tell you an opinion on it yet because I didn't use it quite enough. And that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate you being here like more than you even know. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but I really do. <laughs> Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because that's the best way for you to see the next video where I go over these products again in more depth. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinface all across the board. Um, I specifically post the most on Instagram and Twitter. So if you want to come find me over there, I post new looks on Instagram every single day of the week. That'll all be listed here on the screen and also in the description down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you. I will see you because you're going to subscribe because we talked about that already. I'll see you in the next one.